Hello, 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 guys. Welcome back to another video. This is the Football Connect. I'm your host, Simon. We are back again with another one. So, Tottenham Hotspur is it's an interesting project, you know. The fact that Anche Postacoglu came out in the beginning of the match and is like, in the second season, we win something. And it's something that I'm not even refusing. I have a feeling that they might win either the FA Cup or maybe the Carabao Cup. They have to win something. Tottenham Hotspur hasn't done that for such a long time. But when we come to talk about that first game, before I even go anywhere far, please do me a favor, click the like button, because what I'm about to talk about is a, a bit interesting, but also worrisome if you're a Tottenham Hotspur fan. Because I don't think Leicester were that good, you know. I don't think they were that good. Of course, the fans have been crying out for signings, and I know the only credible signing that we all can talk about is Dominic Solanke, of course, I actually Gray is somebody who's going to get better as time goes on. But the way Tona Motspurs were playing in the first half, the way the passes, the movement, and everything that they were doing, I expected at least them to be leading by three goals to nil. The fact that, that the drag on, they just could not finish their chances. Somehow they kept on making it easier for Leicester to defend or either for the goalkeeper to save. Some of the chances which were supposed to be just to tap in in the box were passing by. Like I remember there was a shot that was hit by, what's his name, Johnson, who kicked it and it passed by. And oh, Son, Richard, uh, what's his name, Dominic Solanke and oh, they just looked at the ball passing in front of the goalkeeper. These are small little margins that always cost teams. Because one thing that you need to do when you're in a game, you need to perform so that you get the final results. You win the game at the end of the day. And that's not what I've seen from Tottenham Hotspur at the moment. They looked okay. Of course, that was a good goal by Poro. But they drag on. They just could not finish their chances. And also some of the decisions. You have to look at Ansh Poster Kogl and ask questions because... How do you take out a Madison who seems like was the engine, was the guy who was connecting everything and take him out of the game? Because after that substitution, it I don't think Spurs look the same after all. And I understand they can still improve. They will get better, of course, because you cannot judge a team by the first game. I think we are all being honest when we say that only after five games, that's when you're going to start judging where exactly your team is. But these are small little things that are worrisome. You have to do better than what you are seeing. You have to offer better. And for whatever whatever they are trying to set up in terms of their achievement this season, these are things that they should be getting over with. They should be winning this game. Maybe it's because of the player that they put on Ban Besuma because of that thing that he did. Maybe if you wasn't the team being the DM, this could have been a different game. You never know. You never know. But also... It took about 10 games last season for Tottenham Hotspur to drop their first game, first points. And we are already talking about it in the first game against a newly promoted Leicester team that is probably going to be struggling this season. And they have already set the target and they are moving full forward. This is one of the teams that I tipped that they could be relegated, Leicester said, because I was looking at the fact that, of course, they will be having point deductions as well as the manager who is in the team. I don't trust or believe that is the best manager that Leicester could bring yet i'm here again talking to you confused how the team that i put in the top four could not get the job done by the team that has just been promoted how does that even make sense how do you put this into words and try to make it make make it make sense whatever you're gonna say of course, they talk about the need signings, whatever they're going to say. But games like these are the games that are meant to be won. You can't tell me that you're going to be looking for signings. You can't tell me that you're going to be looking at it in a different way. These are the games you're supposed to win. And the fact that they played an entire 90 minutes could not find a victory, could not win a game. And I'm really confused over that. I'm really confused. Of course, I do believe that Dominic Solanke is going to be one of the best signings that actual Spurs have made in recent years after the after Harry Kane left to go to Bayern Munich because I believe he's going to offer what Tottenham Hotspur needs in terms of a natural strike, a natural finisher. But of course, maybe he hasn't really managed to actually play with this team enough to actually understand how they play. But some of the chances that this guy was getting... It's either he was too early or too late to attack a chance. And I think he has to set himself 
to actually do produce better. There were more times I actually watched the Tottenham Motspurs playing in the 18 area of this Leicester team time, but they still could not break it down at the end of the day. And that's are the small things that you have to worry about. Are they going to be able to finish their chances? Are they going to be able to play? Because all the things that we know about Tottenham Motspurs, they always find themselves with the balls of the moments. And the balls of moments, in my case, is the vertigo. How do you let a goal like that go in? How do you what? And it keeps happening. They're a good team. Romero, according to stats, is the best defender in the Premier League, by the way. Better than Virgil van Dijk, according to what I've been told. According to all the stats that are put out in what he offers as a player. Yet, they still cannot get the job done. And that's the most important thing. You might play as exciting as you can. You can do so much as you can as a player. But if you cannot get the job done, against a Leicester, a team that is just got promoted into this one. Of course, maybe they were dealing with the same situation that Liverpool were dealing with, knowing that you're playing with a team that just got promoted and um, they're excited. They're going to make this game chaotic as possible. The fan base, I'm talking, as well try to influence the referee's, the referee's decision and what. But Leicester are very far away from an Ipswich because Ipswich actually had to grow, actually had... Some, a, a crowd that was very close to Liverpool and they made it so difficult. Tottenham Hotspurs were not playing that bad even though after all. They were not playing that bad. If you go look at the game, if you go watch how they played, they were not playing that bad. But somehow, allowing a goal to go in in that moment, in that time. And this is the funny part. The goal was not scored in the 90-something minute. It was scored in the 57 minutes after the second half. What did what did Tona Motspurs do to try and make that possible? To actually try and get the best win after all that? They had an entire, I think, about more than 30 or something minutes to rewrite these wrongs. But they just couldn't get the job done. They just couldn't get the job done. And they put on the likes of Timo Werner. And one thing that I have to say. Why did Ange Postacoglu put about four players at the same time? How does that even make sense? I don't get it. Taking out a, a, a son and putting a rich Allison. What are you expecting? These are the small margins. These are the small things that are costing this team these are the things that are costing them from actually being a hundred percent to remain where they are and i just wonder how can they improve from that i just wonder how do they improve from that i'm hoping that their second game is better than this i'm hoping that that second game is way way much better than this because they were attacking they were going all of them and in so many moments and i was looking at this game in so many moments if Leicester were really clinical the way they should have been or if their passes were really accurate the way you would expect them to be because they're now in the Premier League they could have hurt Tottenham Hotspurs even way way worse than what actually happened this game would not have ended as a draw Leicester City were counting on the counter-attacks they were counting on winning or Tottenham on those attacking spaces and take advantage of the spaces and try to help them on the counter it, it happened, but did not happen enough. They just could not do get the right pass. They just could not set the moment. The players who were supposed to run away, wasting times. There were some players who were holding the ball for such a long time, and it, it was delaying in terms of the attack. And to make this for, for funny and even crazy, Tona Mospers have sold another player to Leicester City. Remember, Harry Winks went. Now Oliver Skip is gone. now a Leicester player. That's a transfer, by the way. That was, that's a year we go, which we were given, and we already seen him. It was already announced. So they're going to even get better. And I think I might, I might, I might at the end of this, this transfer window, I might have to change my prediction on Leicester being one of the teams getting relegated, especially if they're stopping a team that I, I'm thinking that they're worth being in the top four. They're worth being in those moment, in those places where they can actually be that good of a team. I don't know. I want to hear if you're a Tottenham Hotspurs fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of your team? Are you excited? Are you really excited with that performance you saw today? Because I ain't. 
I'm wondering how do they get better from here? That's my question. So thank you very much for watching and do me a favor. Click the like button, subscribe to the connect. Tomorrow, of course, we'll be doing a live stream, just revisiting all the games which you have played. And I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section on what you thought of the first week of the Premier League. Of course, there are going to be some things that we're going to be doing. Of course, remember, we have to do the analytic video on what we learned between Manchester City versus Chelsea game. Remember, that was the big game of the week. And what we are expecting as we start building up to the next week. That's how fast the time is moving. So, be excited. All of these things are coming. And I hope you guys are subscribing, are liking. And if you are watching this on FB, you are going to check out TFC on YouTube. As well as TFC LFC. Because those are the channels you are going to find me. And you actually find me talking about football and whatever that is happening in the world of sports. Of course, so many transfer with things that are happening as well. I'll make sure that I, I prepare a small video for you just to talk about all the transfers that are happening. But click the like button, subscribe, and the Premier League is back. All the games are finished. Who's on top? Brighton. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, people. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on another one. Peace.